Welcome back, guys. This is the three-month update of our 25-way graphene coatings and sealants longevity test. We're now at the three-month mark and going to see how things are holding up. As always, links to where you can purchase these products can be found in the video description. And if you'd like to support the channel, ways to do so are on your screen here. And as always, it is greatly appreciated because without it, tests like these are not possible. The last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather, is on your screen here. And as always, we will foam this hood down using Chemical Guy's Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and finally rinse it again to inspect the hydrophobic properties to see how everything is holding up. These panels stay outside of our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week exposed to the East Texas elements and washed once a month until about the two year mark until the last one fails. The hoods are rotated either 90 or 180 degrees after each monthly inspection at your guys' request. So with that out of the way, let's get on and see how things are holding up. Drive Auto Nano, still looking quite hydrophobic. 4210H graphene spray, we had marked that failed at around the 30 day mark. 303 graphene spray, the new and the old batch, both looking, the old batch definitely looks a little bit better, but they both are doing not to the point where we'd call them fail, but they're weak. They've been that way since the 30 day mark. Graphene pre-production sample A, looking very hydrophobic. And Glossit Graphene, their ceramic graphene coating, looking very hydrophobic. Graphene pre-production sample B, there were actually two on that part of the square. Both have failed. IGL Easy Graphene, single step coating, looking good. 4210H Graphene, that's the graphene coating on Amazon. Very inexpensive, looks very hydrophobic. Ilho 12H Graphene off AliExpress had failed just a couple days in, and Drive Auto Graphene. You can see the difference between the non-graphene and the graphene. The non-graphene definitely seems more hydrophobic. Ethos Resist Graphene Spray, Looking really good. Adams Graphene 9H, the spray. Looking good. The Extreme Solutions Graphene spray, not so much. It said it's still okay, but not to the, well, would you call that weak? It's really close. Yeah, let's leave it alone for now. It's still, it's still hanging in there. So Glass Parency Graphene spray, move on to there. Still looks very hydrophobic. Yeah, and this is three months in with nearly 30 inches of rain that it's seen. Significant amount of rain. We had a ton of rain last month. IGL Kenzo Standard versus Graphene. Let's see if there's any difference between the two side by side here. Both are looking pretty hydrophobic right now. Glass Parency Graphene Coating. Yeah, it shows just a very slight little bit sticking there before it falls off, but it's still doing fine. Extreme Solutions Graphene Coating. Compared to the spray above it, you can see much, much more hydrophobic. Atoms, the spray versus the coating. Very hydrophobic. The coating's definitely doing better than the spray and ethos spray versus coating. Very similar there to Adams as far as how it's reacting. All doing just fine. Turtle Wax graphene paste from the YouTube promo kit that they sent all the YouTubers and the graphene paste. Both are extremely weak. So we're gonna leave them at weak. SPS graphene, one of the first on the market with graphene coating has been a few years now. Looking great. Turtle Wax, Graphene Max Wax, and Flex Wax. So Flex Wax definitely looks better than Max Wax. Max Wax, we're gonna leave that one as weak. It's almost failed, but we're gonna leave it at weak because there is just a little bit of, little bit of hydrophobic properties remaining. So there is your three month update, guys. Any surprises? Any ones you're rooting for? 
let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Huge range of prices here, anywhere from $3 all the way up to several hundred dollars. And if you've been following along with most of my videos, you know that I have upcoming a glass coatings test. We're also doing a professional only coatings and a Chinese only coating. So very low cost, inexpensive coatings. See if any of those are actually worth purchasing. So we already know one, which is Nano Age or Nano Bond that has been in some other tests has performed quite well. So we'll see how it holds up compared to some of these others. So stay tuned for that coming up here, probably in September or October. I've had a lot going on right now. So that's why I've been kind of lax other than doing just the regular updates. Uh, life is getting in the way and I'm still trying to do this. And YouTube's a full-time job and we have three other businesses that we run. So it's just, it's been interesting. So thanks for bearing with me. It is coming. I promise you it's just taking a little longer than planned. So thanks again, guys, for watching. We'll see you soon. And as always, right at the end of the video here, I'll show you the first day hydrophobics for comparison. Thanks again. See you soon.